So, have you seen something so randomly out of place that you wondered how on earth did it get there? Such as, I don't know, the dog's going mad. Something such as the skeletal remains of a whale in the woods, or at least far away from water. In case you haven't noticed, I'm on about an actual whale here. Not your morbidly obese dad. This is an actual point of interest that you can find in Red Dead Redemption 2. In today's video, I'm going to show you where that is. So you're going to want to be heading here, which is just a bit west of Strawberry. I'm finding it awfully difficult to talk today, I apologise. Well, more difficult than usual. So get a stomp on and head to this marker on the map. I was going to make this video yesterday, but then I got distracted by the KKK. Out of context, that sounds worse than it is. But anyways, you know where to go now, so get on your horse and get galloping. Don't get distracted for any reason, oh for f Nah, but seriously, we've got a how on earth did it get there situation. We have no time to waste. But anyways, here we are, so here you can see the whale bones on a hillside. I'm going to pretend that that'll make sense, but we'll get to that in a moment. When you arrive, it will just say bones, but when you inspect these bones, it will say whale bones. But all you'll see in your journal is a drawing of the bones. And here, of course, is Arthur's superior drawing of the bones. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just whale bones on a hill. Leaves you to wonder how on earth did they get there. There are two possible explanations for this. One of them is likely, the other one is just absurd. The absurd one out the way first, somebody put these bones there. Which A, nobody would bother to do in the first place, and B, why? What's more likely is these are prehistoric whale bones of some variety and they've in fact been here for millions of years. And in that time the landscape has clearly changed, meaning that these bones were once underwater or had washed up on a beach or something. Which is possible because in reality people have actually discovered whale bones in Egyptian deserts. So these out of place whale bones aren't as random as they first seemed. Now these aren't the only whale bones you can find in Red Dead Redemption 2, as you can actually find another whale skeleton, that of a sperm whale, here as shown on the map in New Austin. Sure, I could have made those into a separate video, but I do quite enjoy not getting a feeling of self-loathing every time I look in the mirror. But it's essentially the same story as the other whale bones. They're just there. They make more sense where they are than you might first think. But they are both points of interest, so if you're into that, then definitely take a look at these whale bones. Now, according to the comments who have corrected me on this, apparently you only really need one point of interest to get 100% completion overall, so they don't really matter, but they're there if you want to look for them. As a final thing to note down when looking at the new Austin whale bones, these actually come with a little bit of description in the journal. John Marston's entry reads, A whale in the desert? Another thing I don't understand. And if somehow you manage to get down here with Arthur Morgan, it'll read, Was this a whale in the desert? So the text doesn't really mean much, but I thought I'd mention it nonetheless. But anyways, that wraps up this video, to be fair. I would say let me know what you think, but it's basically just a couple of dead whales in really random places. I'm not sure what kind of room for thought that yields. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point.